Well then, the bandwagon rolls on now to episode 21 and we're still in search of a well overdue victory here. Uh, I don't think we're going to get it today. We're against England again. It is the fifth and final one day international of the ODI series that we've got against them. Hopefully we can get a team where we've got some sort of a chance after that. But we're going to go out there and do our best again, as is always the case. So let's go run that intro and get into today's episode. Larry's down the ground, that's going to be his first six. Oh, that's bold. This time, go and look for that one. Right then, we are back, we're on the coin toss screen there is a very much a lot of cloud cover today so i think ideally we want to try and start things off and we want to try and get there with the ball now the bounce is perfect the light is good but there's plenty of cloud around and the outfield is slow so we want to try and get the ball first of all so what we're going to do is going to go for a tails call and fingers crossed we can win the call and we've won the toss which is brilliant so we're going to start off with the ball hopefully make the use of that cloud cover and we're going to have javon sales running in from the get-go now we're going to keep things as they are we're going to go to a defensive field we're going to go on very defensive actually we're going to go with the power play setting for the first few overs and we're going to keep that as it is so there's just one off that first over which is okay we can deal with that we've got the user defined uh, actually yeah that looks okay to me and again, we're going to do the player. We're going to make sure that he comes round to duck it and see if we can get duck it's wicket early door. So we're going to play a second over, and they've got a couple off that. And now it sells into duck it. And does he catch the top edge on that? They're, they're asking for it, but they're not going to get it. And they've got 40, 15 runs off the first few. Hours. 19 without loss. Uh, Searles beats the outside edge of Alex Hales. Brathway into Duckett. Edged and caught in the slips. Fantastic catch. Finally, the West Indies hold on to a catch. And that means Brathway gets his man. Duckett gone for 10. Good catch by Kyron Pollard. And now Joe Root is into the crease. And we're going to make sure that we are playing the same sort of line here. And it sells into Hales, who manages to get it past the fielder to the man on the boundary and comes back for the single. Gonna have a little change around. We're gonna bring in Greaves uh, with the no power play field setting, and we're gonna swap Searles around. And we're gonna bring on Pollard, and we're gonna make sure that we give Pollard the no power play setting, and we're gonna give him the same there against Root. And we're just gonna change the line a little bit. Gonna keep him the same. I'm gonna play a slightly different line by Pollard. So Pollard now into Root. England 81. 84 for one, and it's a great catch in the slips again. Is that going to be, is that Searles maybe with a catch? No, it's Lendl Simmons gets Joe Root, the big danger man for 40 off the bowling of Kyron Pollard. And that means he has now gone. Front foot offside is the command for Bairstow. We're going to continue on as we are. Pollard into Bairstow. Can he pick up Johnny Bairstow cheaply here? And it's a great catch, and it's another wicket down. England are 86 for three here. Great catch there from Shai, um Hope, I can't remember his first name. Starts with K. Uh, we've got Alex Hales. Joss Butler is now in. And we're going to continue on as we are. Greaves into Butler. Does he get anything on that? Beats the outside edge. Nice wicket here. It'll be very nice. Greaves into... Oh, very good bowl in that. Pollard now into Alex Hales. 1-1-2 one, one, for three. Does he get that edge? No, he doesn't. Pollard into Hales again. This medium pace delivery is getting Hales caught out and he's another great catch. And it is Lendl Simmons again in the slips with a beautiful diving catch there. And Alex Hales has gone here for 45. England are now on 1-1-2 one, one, for 4 off the 28 overs. And that now brings in Mr. Lawrence. Again, I don't know his name. Uh, Greaves into Lawrence. Takes a wild swing. Does he get a top edge? And yes, the umpire puts the finger in the air. And West Indies pick up another man. They're now 1, 2, 7 for 5 here. England hope with a good catch. And we've got Ben Stokes in now. So Greaves has used all of his permitted overs, which means we're going to bring in Mayers. And Mayers will continue the line that we're, we've been using 
with Pollard, which has done quite well for us. So it's Mayers now into Josh Butler. one three three for 5 here, England. And he beats the outside edge. Pollard has used all of his permitted overs, which means we're going to bring Brathwaite back in. Now, Brathwaite is going to go with the fast, medium, fast, no power play. And it's Mayers now into Butler. one fifty five for 5 here. Butler edges it, and it's caught again. I think it's Kieran Pollard with this one, who's got a beautiful catch in the slips. And Pollard... Gets the wicket of Joss Butler, who goes for 36 off 71. And that now brings in Chris Wokes. And Brathwaite has used all of the permitted overs, which means we're going to bring in Searles. Searles, we will bowl with a longer line. And we're going to go with the no power play, obviously. And we're going to keep Mayers as he is. And it's Mayers now into Ben Stokes. Is Mayers about to pick up the wicket of Ben Stokes? It goes past the outside edge. And into the arms of the wicket keeper. Mayers again into Stokes and he's bowled in. What a delivery from Mayers with a lovely, lovely delivery. Stokes gone for 13. It's a cheap wicket that. And it's one now that if we can press and get another couple here, we're doing all right. And it's caught. Uh, silly. Oh, is it caught? I thought it was caught that. Sells into Archer. And that is LBW and Archer has gone. Great delivery from Javon Searles. And that brings Wood into the attack. And England, 173 for eight here. Mayers into Wokes, edges it, dropped in the slips by Pollard. And they managed to get back for the single, which means we're now going to bring in Cornwall to do a bit of bowling. And Cornwall's going to play uh, that sort of line that we've been we've been looking at using. Now, Cornwall comes into Wokes. England, 174 for eight here. And it's he comes down the line. I think he gets himself far enough out of the way of it. Cornwall now into Wokes. With the delivery, Wokes steps out and it looks like it might be a stump in here, but he gets back just in time. Cornwall into Wood. That's got to be gone. That is LBW right in front of the line that Wood just can't get his bat down fast enough. Beautiful delivery there from Cornwall. And now Ball is the last man into the attack. And it is 183 for 9 England. Cornwall into Ball. Uh, Ball just gets the, the bat down, but he doesn't get enough on it. And England finished their innings at 186 for 9 Now, we have got a bit of a problem in that we haven't managed to achieve this sort of total in the one-day format. I'm going to hope that we can do. So let's go and find out what we can do. Could do a good start. Just to take the pressure off. Wokes into Lendl Simmons. And Lendl Simmons has gone LBW for five. And that now brings in Shimron Hetmeyer. Hetmeyer, Wood into Hetmeyer. Hetmeyer plays and misses. And I've got to keep an eye on that run rate. Need to start scoring a bit more freely here. Ball into Hetmeyer. Takes a swing. Misses. Stokes into Hope. Ball into Hetmeyer. It's got to be outside the line. Ball into Hetmeyer again. Plays and misses. We're not having the greatest of starts here. I'm just going to put him down to three. Ball into Hetmeyer and he's bowled him. Full of delivery there from Ball. Hetmeyer doesn't, doesn't read the play at all. And Hetmeyer has gone for 22. Now that now brings in Shy Hope alongside Kyle Hope. And hopefully these pair, if you like that one, good luck to you. And that, <laughs> and Hope has gone. So the Hope pairing... The hope of the West Indies is slowly dwaning. We've brought Jelani Robinson in. We've got Hope in there as well. We've got Archer into Robinson who takes a play and misses. England bowling really well here. Uh, really good movement for the English team. Jelani Robinson, we need to start pressing on and getting a few runs. We're not looking, we're really struggling to get some runs on the board here. And it's going to be just in time to stop the run out. We need 5.3 and over. We need to start scoring, lads. Ball into Hope. Hope edges it, gets it past the keeper just about, and they come back for the single. We really need to start putting these runs on the board. Leg side, 71 needed. Oh, edged and gone. Hope has been caught out here by Ball, and Hope has finally given up his wicket for 50. A gallant effort there from Kyle Hope, who goes for 50. And we are now in trouble. We need six and over. But we've also got Pollard in. Pollard can bat. Very good. Good shot there from Robinson. Ball comes down. They come back for the single. They get their lovely stroke. Stokes into Pollard. Plays and misses. 
Need 10 runs and over. This isn't going to happen, is it? Not going to happen. We've given it away again. Just can't seem to score fast enough. We need 20 runs and 12. It is possible. Um, 14 from 9. Come on. 13 from 7. 9 from 6. 5 from 5. Come on, lads. Archer into Robinson. What a shot. Jelani Robinson gets the long overdue win for the West Indies. What a strike. A six to finish that game. Let's go and have a look at that again, lads and ladies. What a strike. Hook shot over the boundary for six. And lads, the West Indies have got the job done here. A cracking pair in there between Jelani Robinson and Kieran Pollard. We have won by six wickets. We have stopped the whitewash here against England. And the West Indies have finally won a game. This is absolutely unprecedented scenes. And for that, guys, you have to smash that like button down below because that in itself is, is well worth a like, isn't it? Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're going to be playing Zimbabwe in our next test match. And I'm I've, after that, I've got to hope that, you know, we can start pressing on now against the likes of Zimbabwe. England have been our toughest test. They've battered us in every format of the game but we finished it off with a win and they'll go and we'll go back to the West Indies and they can go back to their homes in England and they can think about that six there from Jelani Robinson because that was absolutely sublime for today guys we are out of time remember leave a like on that video down below and join us in the next episode where we're going to start our first test match against Zimbabwe see more cricket captain content have a look over there there should be some videos coming up new episodes of rebuilding West Indies and also don't forget if you're new to the channel make sure you pop down there and hit that subscribe button we've got more stuff coming up on the channel in the next few months and also be sure to check out my football manager content but for today guys thank you ever so much for watching and I'll catch you again in the next episode